Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Psukim of Bitochen. Today is Divrei Hayomim Beis, and it is chapter 16, verse 8, a continuation of yesterday. Halayakushim Luvim. There were two nations, the Kushim, the Ethiopians, and the Luvim. Hayu Lechayo. And they had a very large, Laroiv, a very big army. Larechev Ulefroshim, Laharbim Ma'oid. They had many chariots and many horsemen. It's very daunting, very frightening to see such a large army that is made up of soldiers and footmen and entrymen and over the seas and in the airplanes and the, and the air force and the marines. They're a big army and they could cause a lot of damage and they might make the war very difficult. However, Ubisha'anecho al Hashem. When you relied on a Kodesh Baruch Hu, Nisanam biyadecha a Kodesh Baruch Hu delivered them right into your hand. And this is in line with what we said yesterday and the day before. And this seems to be the direction that we are leaving off with in all the Psukim Abitachin that we have been learning. And that is that yes, there are going to be difficulties and challenges that a person will encounter in life. And there will be things that are difficult for us to understand. There will be things that we look at that are insurmountable. How in the world are we going to overcome this Nisayan? How will we overcome that Nisayan? How will I be able to find inside of myself the wherewithal to rise to the challenge that HaKadosh Baruch is putting in front of me? Says the Pasuk over here that if you look at the enemy that is standing in front of you, if you look at his arsenal and you look at all the power and the might that he has, if you look how daunting that particular Nisayan, that test and that challenge is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is sending specifically your way. You're right. On your own, impossible. You will never be able to overcome. You will never be able to beat the Yetzirah at his own game. You'll never be able to push away the negative influences that are in your life because they are so pervasive and prevalent. It is hard to avoid them. However, says the Pasik. When you rely upon the Rebbe Nishayilam, the Son of Biyadecha, He's going to place those enemies, those Nisyayinais, those challenges, those difficulties, He's going to put them right into your hand. You will have control over them, and they will not have control over you. You will rule over them, they will not rule over you. You will know how to deal with them, they will not deal with you and make your life miserable. On the other hand, you will find the wherewithal from inside of yourself based upon your strong wellsprings and levels of Amunah and Bitachin, where you rely upon HaKadosh Baruch and only HaKadosh Baruch Hu to save you, to rescue you, to help you, to give you the strength that you need to overcome. It's all coming from Hashem. When a person realizes that, when they believe in that, when they live their life accordingly, so then, Nesanam biyadecha, the enemy will be placed directly into your hand, delivered to you with, with gift wrapping and a bow on top. It'll be a gift, a present. Every single Nisayan that we go through in life is a gift. It is a present from the Rebbein Nishayilam. He's giving it to us because He loves us and He cares about us. He wants what's best for us. Look at the life of Abraham Avinu. He went through one and Nisayan after another. And this week he gets to the crescendo, to the zenith of all of the Nisayanas. And that is take your son, your only son, the one that you love, Yitzchak. Bring him onto the altar on top of the mountain and shech him and kill him, get rid of him. That's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants. Yitachin, is it possible that a human being could do such a thing? put his hands around the neck of his child that he loves, that he cares about, that he wants to pass down his legacy to, and shecht him in the eyes of the world, the man of Ramavinu who believed only in chesed, who believed only in goodness and having rachmanis, having compassion on others. He didn't believe in what the Avaidazarniks, what the idol worshippers were doing by sacrificing their children to their favorite Avaidazar. He didn't believe in that. He spoke out strongly against it. And now it says, take your son, and shech them to me. Let's see how much you believe in me. Is it possible that Avram Avinu has such a strength inside? Obviously the answer is yes. Because we see how he went about doing it. Like the Midrash tells us, 
He did it with a smile on his face, like a father walking his son down to the chuppah. So to Avram Avinu walked his son to the altar, ready to shecht him to, to take his life for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that itself was the care package. It was the gift that HaKadosh Baruch Hu was giving to Avram, that you have within you this inner strength, this potential, this power to become even greater than you are right now in your imun and be talking to me. And if you'll do this, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you win the award, you win the prize of being the faithful Eved Ne'eman, the servant that is beholden to the Rebbein Shalom. And this is what it says over here, that if you look at what's in front of you, if you think about how difficult everything is going to be, and how hard it will be for a person to overcome those challenges that are piling up around them, in Achinami you're right, you're finished. Once you get into that state of fear, of anxiety, of worry, how am I going to do it? You're finished. You're not going to overcome the challenge. But if you will, you'll rely completely and totally on Hashem, the Son of B'yadecha, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, delivers every challenge, every enemy, every difficulty, every nisoyin, every test, He delivers it right into your hand with the wrapping and the bow on top and a card that says, My dear child, I love you so much, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Keep trying and keep doing what you're doing because the more that you rely upon me, the more I will come to your salvation and I will deliver your nisyayness, your challenges, right into your hands. Have a wonderful day.